Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dragon here in the Dragon Den, and I wanted to show you how through hikers filter their water on the trail. So let's get right into it. I've got two one liter smart water bottles. One's for dirty water, one's for clean water. And I've poked a little needle hole in the dirty water bottle to uh, relieve the vacuum as the water filters out of it. I'm using the Sawyer Micro Squeeze filter here. So I'm gonna screw that onto the dirty water bottle, screw the other end onto the clean water bottle. I'm using a little coupler here, this little blue uh, screw coupler. And then sometimes you'll have to block the needle port and kind of squeeze a little bit through at the beginning just to uh, wet the filter. And then after that, it will pretty much go on its own. There we go. So you can see it's filtering through at a pretty good rate. Uh, if it doesn't filter, you know, if it gets to the point where the water is just dripping, you can see individual drips, that probably means you need to back flush your filter. So I carry the little back flusher and a little piece of hose with me, and I'll put the rubber hose in on the plunger here. You can see it there. You may want to pre kind of stretch the hose, this rubber, so it fits over the plunger a little better. And then you'll just fill this up with some really clean water, maybe water that you have just filtered uh, with your filter. And then you'll put it on the outlet of your water filter and just press it through uh, like very vigorously to get all the sediment and algae and cow pond, you know, muck out of your filter. And I'll usually do, you know, like a whole whole glass of water through the filter. So that might be like four or five different uh, back flushes on it. And so if I'm at camp, obviously I'll just let this run and get to cooking, setting up my tent and all that. And it's totally hands-free. You don't even have to worry about it. Uh, if I'm actually on the trail, maybe I'm trying to make 30 or 40 miles in a day, then I will just take this, just like this, and just put it in my pack, lash it on the side. And within five or 10 minutes, you'll have a full liter of water. You'll be good for another uh, five miles of hiking. So uh, when I was in the desert on the Continental Divide Trail, I usually carried one and a half liter smart water bottles, and they would get you through, you know, a good 10 or 12 or 15 miles maybe. And so you would want to store the dirty water bottle on your pack um, upside down so that all the water doesn't leak out through that needle hole that you poked. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, another thing to note is you probably want to punch a hole in this little coupler here to relieve the pressure uh, as the water filters into the lower bottle. Uh, you'll hear a little hiss. So you can also just unscrew it slightly until it filters normally. And so you can see it's filtered a whole liter of water just in the course of this video, so five minutes or so, and uh, very efficient, hands-free. You don't have to do any work, but if you do want to speed it up, uh, you just will find that little needle hole that you punched, cover that up, and then uh, squeeze the top bottle like you would any other squeeze filter bag. And don't squeeze it you know, too much so that it crumples the bottle, just let it reset every five seconds or so and keep doing that until you get the amount of water out that you want. And I'll actually scale this up uh, when I'm car camping nowadays and I'll use a whole five gallon jug uh, filled up with some creek water, run a tube out of it into the filter with a little valve and then run that into my uh, water uh, can. I've got like a water jerry can with a little nozzle on it. And so I'll be able to filter five gallons and you know, 15 minutes or so, and that's enough for probably a whole week of camping. So the system works great, scales up really well, and I've used it for 5,200 miles of backpacking, through hiking. Um, highly recommend it. I can't imagine doing this any other way. So hopefully uh, you learned something from this. Maybe you'll try this out. You'll like it more than your filter system. 
it'll make you a little quicker and you'll get to spend a little bit more time enjoying the beautiful natural scenery while you're backpacking. So hit the like and subscribe button and uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if there's a video that you'd like to see. If there's anything I can make, uh, just let me know. And I'll see you guys next time.